Hi folks, I am working on the last part of Sniffer the Hound. What I did was I wood burned one eye and I did one ear. Just to show you how I did this, um, I'm going to show you how to put the nails in. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank it up a little bit to maybe nine. I have a detail master. If you don't have a wood burning tool, you can paint these on. But I figured I did that 20 some years ago. It'd be kind of nice just to do the same thing I did before. So it's very optional to you. You can put hair on it if you want. Um, you know, you can put other spots on it that you want to do. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I did the ear here really quickly. I'm going to crank this up pretty good, like number nine. And you're going to see a lot of smoke here. So, what I do is I try to outline it first and try to get that all done first and then work my, my tool across it. I use the flat edge of my burner. It's a little slow sometimes in areas. Some areas will go quicker than others. But this is basically how you do it. Just rub it, rub this thing over top. Kind of slow or a little faster where, see how fast that goes there. You don't want to make it too deep there. Okay. If you get a little bit on like I just did, you can take a knife and just take it off. Okay. This is a real permanent way to keep this on. I didn't put anything on that. I'm not going to put any other finish on this. This is entirely up to you how you want to put the finish on. Um, one thing we will do though, I'm going to crank this back down to about number five. See, we have a little uh, band on him for his collar. So what we're going to do is just here at the top, we're going to follow the neckline. Let's see if I can get this in here. Let me take these glasses off so I can see better. <laughs> Move these over here. Okay. Now, I'm just going to follow that neckline all the way around, like so. Okay, one side. I'm going to turn around, I'm going to follow it there. And then I'm just going to put another line right across it. Oops, I hope. I'm Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so that's going to be his band. Let me retrace that again for you. Now on the other one I have crisscrosses going across, so that's what I'll do on this one. Okay. Just to give a little bit of a design. You don't have to do it this way. You can make completely black if you want. That's up to you. All right. I'm gonna crank this puppy up again. Pretty good. If it gets too hot, you can blow on it a little bit. You know, that's a good way to control it too. If it gets too hot, you're not sure about the edges. You know, see how that burning? How quickly that burns? Uh, the Detail Master you can get at any supply house, um, carving supply house. Go to a wood carving show. Um, they have plenty of these type of things. I have always used a Detailed Master. There's a couple of other brands. I don't know them offhand. I'm sorry I don't know them offhand. One starts with a C. Colwood I think it might be. But um, they have, um, I've always liked the Detail Master. Well, that's, this is really all I ever use. I have one other one years ago and then switch to this one. I've had this one at least 15, 20 years, maybe longer, probably about 20. So, just to show you how this is done. You know, you can make it dark, go back over it again and make it darker if you like. It's up to you, like I did here. You know, you can go back over it in areas and darken it up. So that's what I'll end up doing when I get offline here to make it a little bit more. Um. The other thing I got to show you really quickly too before I let you guys go, I drew a little oval shape with a line, like a U with a line. And what we're going to do is we're just going to darken that area with with the tip of this, like I did over here. Just like so. There's other eyeballs in. 
Okay, so that's there for the hound. Let me go back here and do the front here a little bit. I gotta crank it back up again. Wood, wood burning of any kind takes time and some skill to learn how uh, it works. If you go with the grain, even when you're doing feathers, it's much quicker. Uh, when you go against the grain, like what I'm doing now, going across it, it makes it a little more challenging, for sure. Okay, so, you know, it, a lot of it comes down by practice, practice, practice. And knowing your tools, you know, you know what it can do and can't do. How one angle might be a little different than another when you wood burn. Um, some people love to do uh, photographs or pictures just wood burning, which some of them are really awesome to see. But, um, you know, uh, with wood burning feathers, it's very time consuming. If you're a new carver and you don't know anything about that, uh, check my other uh, ones on Songbirds. I have some video on how wood burning is done and how the feathers are made. So you're welcome to look at that and, and learn what you can from that. Um, folks, thanks for all your comments. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but Gene Musser just uh, emailed me some time ago, and he's going to do um, a caricature with a turned head, I believe, shortly. He asked, um, I have a, a um, oh, what's it called, a, um, on the um, Woodcarver's Illustrated board, uh, I posted anything that you wanted to see done. Now somebody requested a pig, so I might end up doing a pig. I've got to get some photographs of one, just like I did with a black lab, and see what I can come up with. Uh, if there's something you'd like to see carved, please email me at carverswoodshop at yahoo.com if you're not on the board, on the carver's board, uh, uh, Wood Carver's Illustrated. And let me know what you're interested in seeing carved. Uh, I'm going to probably be doing another Santa very quickly. Here I'm going to be doing some ornaments closer to Christmas time. Well, actually, I should start these now so you can get some done if you want to give them away for Christmas presents. So we're going to do some of that. Um, you know, just email me what you might be interested in, or and maybe between Jean and I and Alan. Uh, Alan might be willing to help us out in teaching some videos of uh, what you're interested in doing. Okay, folks. So. That's Sniffer, our dog. Let me just put this away. Whoops, put this away for a second. And I know he's a little lighter in color, but roughly the same, you know. But they're always different. They're always a little bit different. Uh, he's got a little stubbier nose than, than this guy. See how I tell you that you can never make them exactly alike. And that's part of carving, folks. You'll never be able to do everything uh, the same identical one. Uh, similar, yes. Identical, no. And that makes it a handcraft item for sure. If you're new to carving, I encourage you to try one of these. It's an awesome little um, um, project to do. And again, if you have something in mind that you'd like me to do um, online to teach, uh, just email me that at thecarverswoodshop at yahoo.com and we'll see if we can accommodate. The other thing I'm also going to ask you, and I've gotten a couple of uh, photos, but when you're done with a photo, uh, when you're done with one of my series, uh, whether it's one of the Santas or the Black Lab or the birds or this guy, would you please send me an email of a, a picture of your finished product? I'd love to see it, especially the new people that are new at it. Um, please do. I, I, that would encourage me very much so to keep on going. Um, you know, and, and that's a, a delight that I get to see how you did. Uh, and don't feel embarrassed to send it to me if you're new. Uh, you know, we all started somewhere, and I'll guarantee you in a couple of sessions, if you keep with it, keep with, keep at it, you'll see a whole new um, um, improvement for sure. Okay, folks, so I hope you enjoyed Sniffer the Hound, and take care, and we'll cut, catch you later.